queens i hope you're having a lovely day and are not going stir crazy in quarantine hopefully by the time you see this video like we're done with all this crazy mess that's going on and we can just move on with our lives um it's three o'clock and i still haven't like made my face and it feels weird um i spent time with friends this morning and then i've been cleaning and organizing my apartment and it's starting to come together and I'm really excited. So um, today I'm just going to be doing a palette review. So an indie brand, Lunar Skies Cosmetics, launched four eyeshadow palettes and I saw them and I was like, I need to try all four. So that's what I'm going to do. Today we're going to take a dive into the Flower Moon palette. And we're going to go through swatches, and I'm going to do a little look, and yeah, these were $15 each. And um, let's just get into this, all right? All right, so this is the inside of Flower Moon. We're going to do some swatches real quick. First, we have Yarrow. I don't know why I'm doing my swatches like this, but you know, it is what it is. Marigold, Buttercup, Rose Mallows. It's just a pressed glitter, so it's not gonna swatch that great. Of course, it's not really coming off on my finger either. It's like, okay, well, my light is too bright. So it's kind of just staying on my finger and so that's um, concerning. And then we have Carnations. Wow, that was a terrible swatch. They're all terrible swatches, but okay. Okay, and then the last four shades is Tulip. No, that's Dahlia, sorry. That is Dahlia. Can you, can't really see it. Hmm. This is Tulip. This is Daffodil. Gosh, why why are my swatches like the worst? And Sunflower. So, hmm. Not the most impressive swatches, but you can never judge a palette by its swatches because we're not gonna be rubbing these on our arms or anything. It's gonna get applied with a brush on our eyes. So the best way to get an understanding of this palette is to try it on. My eyes have been primed. We're just gonna take off this plastic on the mirror. I love that sound. Don't ask me why. Okay, I'm first gonna go into the shade Carnations. I want to take this on, oh, ah, oh my gosh, it's neon yellow and it looks so good. I just want to put this on the inner half of my crease. Wow, that is really vibrant and I'm really surprised by that. I was kind of afraid it was going to be lackluster and not very like I wanted it to be. That was, I don't even know what that was. Next I'm gonna go into Buttercup, which is the like neon peach. And I'm gonna put it on the outside of my crease. Wow, this is <laughs> amazing. Um, can I be bathed in this shade, please? This is so pretty. I love it. I'm not having any issues blending into carnations. I'm not having any issues at all with either one of the shades. I'm gonna take Sunflower, which is the orange shade, and put that in my outer lid and blend it up a little bit into Dahlia. Wow, that's a very very bright orange. That is stunning. 
but it's going into a dahlia pretty well. I'm going to take a daffodil and go on the inner portion of my lid and blend up into carnations. Hmm. I like this shade. I don't know if I like it mixed with carnations. I'm not sure that they're a good color combo. <laughs> but we're here. We're doing it. I'm going to take Yarrow, which is the really light shimmer, and I'm going to put it on the center of my lid. Oh! Um... Mm. Hold on. Um, so I don't know if you can tell on camera, but Yarrow's reading more like a blue shift, which is very interesting. I mean, the look is still beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I just thought that was interesting. Or maybe I'm, maybe it's just my eyes. I don't know. But I feel like it reads off like a very icy blue. So I look like a cute little citrus little cutie pie. And that makes me very happy. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then I'll come back to finish my eyes and everything and we'll finish up this video. Okay, so a little whoopsie. I got lost in a Raw Beauty Christie video. I'll link her channel down below. She's a wholesome beauty YouTuber and She's so down to earth and real on camera, and I just feel like she's worth sharing with you guys. Um, she does have like a way bigger following than me, but I think she is way beyond worth watching. Um, so I got lost in her video and ended up finishing my completed look. So um, basically all I did was the same thing on the bottom as the top without the shimmer. And then on the inner corner, I put my highlight on, and then I try putting rose mallows in there, which is the pressed glitter. And, um, hold on. <laughs> I have a sea fallout. And I think this glitter would be best used with a lash glue, or not a lash glue, but a glue adhesive. You can use lash glue. I use lash glue, you know, whatever. Um, but I mean it's pretty, just use a glue with it. Um, overall, I am obsessed with this palette, I'm obsessed with this look, I feel so, it's just, mm, it's getting me prepared for the full coming of spring and summer and all things hot. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I've, I've watched Frozen two times this week. Um, but anyways, I just feel just so good right now. And uh, 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 the palette, palette, it's worth it. 15 bucks, Lunar Skies Cosmetics. This is the Flower Moon, blah, blah, blah. This is the Flower Moon palette. They do have the Emerald Moon cobalt moon and the amethyst moon which I will do be doing uh, which I will be doing reviews of all of them but this was the one I was most excited for so um, without further ado please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because you want to see those other three reviews I know you do don't lie to yourself. Please like this video, because, well, if you made it this far, you might as well not waste your time. And leave a comment down below, some reviews you'd like to see, tutorials, whatever you want to see. It can be something random. I don't care. I'll consider it. Said I would consider it. Alright, y'all have a good one now.